Hey everybody, I thought it was time for a garage update. Let me tell you what's going on. This week, Bruce and Winnie Myers introduced, well, let me say that they put out a message. They are reintroducing their classic original Myers Manx dune buggy. When I heard about it, I jumped on board. They offered 10 of the first original dune buggies up for sale to help fund the molding, etc. And to get this, this new old line back on, okay? I jumped in, we've got number five. It's going to be 12P Fuchsia Metal Flake which is a killer metal flake purple. I'm gonna put the classic side pods on it too. That's gonna to be the next dune buggy build. Anyway, we, they, the pre-orders were just this week. I don't know what I, when I will get it, but that will be the next dune buggy build. It will be available for sale when we're done. I have no idea what the timetable is gonna be, but I'm excited about it. What I'm in the middle of now is a 1961 Falcon. I saw this car, a gentleman had purchased it in Georgia, started the restoration, uh, you know, ran out of steam on it, but he did a lot of nice work on this car. I was going to take it all the way apart, but you know, when I started looking at all that he had done, I decided that would be foolish. He put a 93 Mustang GT 5.0 engine in it, seven, 650 double pumper, Edelbrock Performer, uh, Pertronics, Ignition, F303 Ford Cam, of course it's a roller motor, it's a 93, Trimic 5 speed behind it, they narrowed an 8.8 .8 rear end, that's what's underneath the back, just, just a lot of nice work, uh, V8 front suspension with all new tie rods and hoses and uh, all new brakes, he did a lot of nice work. So I decided that it would be foolish to, to redo everything that he had done. What I have redone on this car, um, the way he lowered it to taste was he put the rear leaf springs in a press, de-arced them. When that happened, it moved the, the rear end over a little bit, and it's pretty tight under there. So, And on the front springs, he chopped them down. It had a really good-looking stance, but I, it just it lost its suspension, if you will. It, it lost its weight transfer and this thing doesn't have much traction to start with. So anyway, I ordered new leaf springs, all new bushings on the rear, one inch drop from the factory. I ordered new coil springs for the front, two inch drop from the factory. Uh, roller spring purchase. And a couple of other minor things. That's about all I've got done. Um, it's been kind of busy. I have picked out the color. It's going to be, what is it? Tangerine Candy Pearl over Meta Jewels Pale Gold Base. It's going to be really, really nice, I think. And I think we're keeping it. Uh, Dee Dee really likes it. I really like it. Uh, we've got room to keep two Doom Buggies and two cars here in the garage. So I think it's going to be a keeper, but we'll see. So anyway, I'll get rolling on this. I'll put a few videos up about this as things go along, uh, particularly if I think there's something I run into that can help somebody else and save them a little bit of effort. The dune buggy, I will start acquiring parts for. I don't have a chassis yet. Uh, I don't have much. I've got some shelf parts. I've got plenty of engine cases uh, to work with. So that's what's going to happen this winter. This car is going to get built, I think probably the, the realistic target date is probably February when this thing's done and ready to roll. Between now and then I hope to gather most everything I need for the Myers Manx. But uh, I am excited about that too. And I'm really grateful for Bruce and Winnie bringing back the original classic design. I mean, that's what I fell in love with and, and uh, it's my favorite. Okay, that's it for now. I'll see you all soon.